welcome back to Major League Gaming. Saturday night, we are seeing as Instinct is taking on Dynasty. And Instinct coming out in that first game, they won 5-1 to one in that CTF on Zealot. They came out firing on all cylinders. Instinct looking incredibly impressive. Dynasty not looking like the team we saw mm -mm. storm through their pool play and dominate, believe the hype last night. But game number two, Countdown Team Slayer, is going to be completely different. So you know what? Load that map graphic and let's get this game started. Countdown Team Slayer, game number two. We would be extremely foolish if we did not start off with I Got Your Pistola in this one. He can just run around this map. He always uses the jetpack. Very, very awesome stuff he pulls off on this map. They call him the wizard. The wizard. That's he is Gandalf Young. Beard. <laughs> Whatever you say, Scott, again. But <laughs> Pistola now is going to be shooting, trying to get these rockets. And he's going to be making a move towards him. And we see as Roy is going to be hunting down player with the sniper. He just killed Formal as Pistola now blew himself up with the rockets. Roy now picking up the T-square combo, trying to get away with both these weapons and kind of hide a little bit to allow his teammates to come get at least one of these weapons. And whoa, that was a good grenade by Formal. Yeah, Formal just throwing a ridiculous nade. He pushed so hard on the street and now he wants this sniper. He already picked up one headshot, spots Pistola right in front of him and he is going to be able to take him down but Pistola will also be getting the kill. So now we see as Dynasty is attempting to set up here at the top level. Tzoxic is at the opposite vent of Hines, so they have vent control, and Destin is pushing in on Instinct, and he spots two members at the jetpack. Smart play there by Pistola. Two, or I should say by Formal, two go after Pistola, but you saw Roy miss that rocket, and now you see the sniper in the hands of Formal. And that is worst case scenario for Instinct. Yeah, I can't wait to see what happens. And just like that, Woo! I am such a fanboy of him. I feel so bad. I just, I haven't been a fan of someone in so long, and he just makes such big plays. Over and over again, he's got just crazy headshots with the sniper. And especially on this map, he gets crazy angles. You see there, two for two with the headshots. Both big plays on the outside. Oh, don't do it. He okay. won't. No, it's fine. He was He's thinking done. about it. He, he was... is done. And you know what's awesome about Formal now? A lot of players who are main slayers, Ogre 2 will not give any credit to. But when you talk to Ogre 2 about Formal, he goes, well, you know, Formal is not only really smart as a player, but he also can push up with the sniper, so I would consider him a top player. Now, that coming from Ogre 2 is a huge statement. And Formal, I got a chance to talk with a lot of other people, and they say Formal is just a very good team player in general. He's very kind of good to have around. And he will do the objective when he needs to. It's not like he's just some sort of main slayer only. Yep, 16 to 14 here as Dynasty will be leading Instinct. Instinct just was able to safely extract that sniper. Pistola is going to get that, and he is waiting on the custom power-up outside. Formal is just going to sit here, and he is going to be three for three with this sniper. Formal, it has to be the hair. It can't. It, it makes no sense. I'm stupid. It could be, but four there it is. Four, four for four. That's four straight headshots for Formal and an eight-kill lead here for Dynasty. We've got the Rockets going to be popping pretty soon in about ten seconds. And right now, Instinct just kind of trying to hold on, especially with Formal just constantly blaming. Yeah, and I feel bad because Destin now has a full sniper, and his first shot's going to be his headshot. But if I'm Destin, I am just going to drop it for Formal. He is on a sniper spree. Heinz has rockets. Destin has the new sniper. Tzoxic's just going to kind of hang around and be like, hey, guys, uh, you need anything? You need some water? Uh, I'm here to support you guys. <laughs> Destin, the water boy for Dynasty currently. See Heinz. I see his lunchbox right there trying to hide, get an easy back smack. And it's amazing. Hines somehow getting these rockets, even though Instinct had no control. They should have been focused on these new mat or this weapon. But no, Dynasty just completely dominating the power weapons. We saw it in the first game. We saw Infamous get to a huge lead by controlling them. And it just seems 12 kill lead, 13 wow. kill lead. Dynasty completely changing their luck around. Yet yeah, Dynasty really just coming out and destroying in this game number two. Hines is going to be able to pick up this kill. He's going to save the rocket. Extremely smart play. Kind of ballsy, but he is a ballsy player, and he is going to miss that rocket. So unfortunate. It's almost like he should have shot that rocket. <laughs> <laughs> as horrible as that is. 
but anyway, you see, as Formal does get the kill, he trades with Lunchbox, and it's still a 15 kill lead as Dynasty's starting to pull away. Destin's gonna pick up yet another sniper. Formal's gonna be pushing out here to the custom power up, and Tzoxic and Heinz will be double teaming right here as I Got Your Pistola will be going down. Impressive play. Actually, no, that was not I Got Your Pistola, that was Ogre 2. Pistola with the sniper just gets shot down. They know he's at the bottom tri lift. Formal just smells a sniper rifle. He's going on the hunt for it. And the thing about Formal, Will he do it? Oh, yeah, trip, there's trip, a double. Trip. Whoa! Whoa. I'm not exactly sure how that one worked out, but you see there's a sticky nade through the door, sticking a player on instinct. And Roy, oh, that's got to be tough. Roy watching as a member of Dynasty picks up the power up right as he's about to throw a grenade. And you can see an 18 kill lead. Are we about to see instincts get staked? You know, man, it could be happening every single one on Dynasty. As soon as they touch a sniper, it's just ripping a face off. They have a 20 kill lead. Heinz is sitting on the street, and he is ripping face left and right. This is extremely impressive. Instinct really can't do anything. They are trying their damnedest to get up to the top level. Roy finally do, trying to start something, but is it too little too late? And Heinz just picked up a killing spree right before being stuck. A headshot with the sniper, a headshot with the DMR. And we're looking at a 43 to 23 game. Normally, we can say come, you are able to come back. We watched uh, Triggers down do it to Infamous, but I'm sorry. An 8, <laughs> 17, or a 19 kill lead, excuse me, an 18 kill lead now is too much to overcome. Only six kills left and five kills left now for Dynasty to win game number two. Heinz is going to be running away from that player. He is going to use a bait and switch as Tzoxic will come in here. He will be able to do it. He was a little bit self-conscious about the first melee, so he decided to nade himself. It's a smart play. He thought he wasn't going to be able to get the kill. He's taking the safe play, trying to weaken as many players as he can with the grenade. You see his Rich porting up into that thing, or that vent. Lunchbox unable to finish him off. And it just seems this game, a complete turnaround. The bait and switching from Dynasty, just so impressive. But Instinct is in good positions, but they have to be a little bit aggressive here. They have a lot of room to make up, and Pistola was desperately trying to get those rockets that could have made them have a turnaround, and Tzox is going to hit them with a 180 rocket shot, and now they are actually going to be spawning on the rockets, but they are just two kills away from losing, so Dynasty should be able to close this one out. And Tzox missing a few shots, but there you see it, another stick, another kill. And Dynasty will be taking game number two, 50 to 33. The Dynasty fans are really happy right there, Chris. In the front row, just uh, throwing the jersey around. I think they're a little bit embarrassed right now, but they shouldn't be because Dynasty just destroyed that game. Looking at the stats, we've got Formal going positive six, Heinz positive six, Tzoxic positive five, Destin with a positive one, and on the other side, Ogre 2, I do believe it was in with a negative 10, not his best game. But you know, game number two, a lot of the time we see the game of the team win the objectives, another team win the team slayers. So I wonder if maybe Dynasty just come in clutch for game number two, whereas Instinct's gonna kinda come back here, Team King of the Hill, they're very good on King and try to try to gain the momentum back the Dynasty just ripped away from them. Yeah, and when we return after this commercial break, I got a surprise for everyone back at home, but you have to stay tuned. <laughs> 